Hello, type choice here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to save an InDesign file as a JPEG. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I have just created this InDesign document right here. And let's say that I actually want to export this as a JPEG. We can actually do that in a few easy steps. So when I'm ready to export, all I actually have to do is go up to the top bar and choose File, then go down to Export. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control E. And this panel will now show up. Here we want to save our JPEG on our computer. So just choose a folder where we want to save the JPEG in. And let's just go down right here where it says file name. I'll just be calling this JPEG document. And you can see that if we go a bit down right here, we have the file type. And this is right now set to PNG. We want a JPEG instead. So just click right here and choose JPEG. Just like this. And now we can actually just press save. And then this export JPEG panel will now show up. And in here we have some different options that we can choose from. First of all, we have the export. And here we can choose how many pages we would like to export as a JPEG. So let's say that we had 10 pages. We could range between them or we could choose them all. In this example, I only have one page. So I'll just be setting this to all, which is only one. And if we can also choose if we want to export them as pages or spreads. If we go a bit down, we can see that we have the image settings right here. The first one is the quality. So you can change the quality of the JPEG right here. I'll just set this to maximum. Then we have the forward method. I typically just leave this at baseline. Then the resolution, which is the PPI. You can also choose that. Let's say that this is for web. I'll just be choosing this right here. And then we have the color space. So we have the options to create RGB, CMYK, or gray color space. And if you go down to the last options right here, we can also choose if we want to embed our selected color profile, or if we want to use document bleed settings. Let's say that that is just fine for now. All I actually have to do is just press export. Then I want to go into my folder where I have saved the JPEG. And as you can see, I've just opened the folder right here and our JPEG is right here. So I can just double click on this to see it. So yeah, that is actually how to save an InDesign file as a JPEG. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.